cause of CPAP for obstructive sleep apnea is known to help in numerous ways. It can improve your physical, mental, and emotional health. In this video, a patient shares her own experience on how this has benefited her. And I do hope that this will help all those who are or have been diagnosed with sleep apnea, but yet not following the treatment. The second thing is that there is a situation that the drop in usage of CPAP occurs after some time. And that's what we call as a poor compliance. However, frequent reminders, staying in touch is known to help with this. And that's another fact that she states. The third thing is that some of you may have seen patients or your relatives, friends who had this condition, maybe didn't get treated, but suffered consequences such as a cardiac or a heart attack or a brain stroke. And you may still be seeing people around you who have this condition such as that is the obstructive sleep apnea, loud snoring, very sleepy, tired, weight going up. So please do identify such people, be the voice and motivate them to get treated so as to avoid harmful consequences, you know, which can be almost life threatening. So I hope this video will help you to understand this. Do like and share it with those who you think might be benefited from this. Hello, I'm Priya Tandon. I'm 77 years old. I've been using the machine for about 9, 11 months. Started in January. It was new for me. Um, yeah, I found it difficult to get used to it in the beginning. Um, but after getting used to it, there's been a definite improvement in my, uh, you know, things like brain fog in the morning, headache in the morning, getting up. I used to have before I used the machine. Once uh, I, I, I realized straight away the days that I used the machine for at least four hours in the night, um, I wake up and uh, I'm much more active and, uh, you know, coherent and think better and all that so uh, the days I don't I feel sleepy the whole day and it's not that nice so that's what I found though in the beginning it took me personally trouble to get used to the <clears throat> breathing with the machine but then I had that I used a humidifier and uh, it, I think it got better uh, so it was an adjustment process um, to get used to the machine. Now I'm very happy that I did because the downside of not using the machine is very bad. I mean, I know that my uh, oxygen levels, I used to get up with palpitations, uh, suddenly sitting up in bed uh, because I wasn't breathing. So it's, it's not a good situation at all. Uh, so I'm very happy about that. Second thing I'd like to say is that the very nice set of reports keep coming Every day that I'm using it, if I'm improving my usage hours, they congratulate me and say, look, yeah, that, this is the right way to go. Uh, I get a report saying whether my AHI is good or not. And so that so keeps you encouraged and makes you keep wanting to try it. Which is, uh, that's also very encouraging. Um, yeah, and there's always a close attention to whether you change your filter, have you cleaned the tubing. So all that's very good because in my age, remembering is a big problem. Memory problems, <clears throat> though, though, you know, it's not as bad as uh, it could have been. But I still need reminding at that the team here is, is to make sure that um, I get these uh, prompts, these reminders. In the, on WhatsApp and in, in the email. So, uh, can't think of anything else except that now I think back, my, I'm sure my father, even my mother must have had the same problem and uh, they, they must have died prematurely uh, because of heart problems and things because of apnea. I know my father used to snore 
So I'm very happy that I, there is this technology and we've got an easy and good machine. Uh, so I don't have to go to a lab, sleep lab and things, which I'm sure maybe 10, 15 years ago you would have had to do. Even my husband, uh, which, you know, which is recent, I think he had sleep apnea as well. Um, so, so he had heart problems and he passed away. So uh, this is a tremendous, uh, tremendous uh, breakthrough actually. Knowing that there's such a thing as sleep apnea that you can treat it because it affects so many, you know, it affects your brain, your heart, you know, things that you don't really notice. It's a slow decline and you think it's just old age. Whereas actually you can prevent it. So that's very nice. I have a cousin and a, my uh, you know, uh, sister who both have sleep apnea and they're the people who said go and get yourself tested, go and get yourself tested. So it is a family thing, so I'm glad that we've discovered it, discovered the treatment.